pretty lady, pretty lady, pretty, pretty, beautiful baby. This not the vice make you want more life. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Constance. If you are seeing my video for the first time, you are welcome. Please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are most welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your love and support. I appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. So guys, this video is the continuation of my previous video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out, okay? Like I told you in the video that I got a contract to cook one bag of rice. Yes, that is a lot I'm doing now. And right now, I am cutting the veggies. And like I said, I am taking you guys along with me. So just stay tuned and make sure you watch till the end. This video is very interesting and it's something you wouldn't want to miss, okay? Right now, as you can see, I am cutting the carrot and I am sure you guys followed the process. You know, initially I had to peel then wash then i had to cut in round shape and now i am cutting them bits by bits these are all the process we went through to get this carrot in this form and you guys can tell that it was indeed very stressful here we have grandma helping us out with the red bonnet yellow and green pepe so grandma say hi <laughs> hey. Funny enough guys, I didn't go to a catering school to learn how to cook. Yes, I learned how to cook from my mom. But guys, you know how it's done now. We go into the kitchen, we make food for a family of six or probably eight. I didn't learn how to cook for a multitude of people, like for more than 100 persons. So I just knew how to do it all of a sudden. Or should I say it's the talent God gave me on it soon. Yeah, and I am happy about it and I am doing so well. Because you know... You would say you can cook, but then you go into the kitchen, you cook for about two or three people or even ten people. But cooking for more than hundred persons, guys, it's really, really not easy. And I thank God that so far so good. I am doing so well. Guys, we just finished cutting the veggies. And like I told you, I couldn't get green beans in the market because it's so scarce at the moment. Like, it's not in Dakar at the moment. So here we have um, the cabbage the spring onion the red and yellow bonnet pepper here we have the green pea and also the baked onion here we have the green bonnet pepper here we have our fresh pepper and here we have our cow liver and also carrot and then the lastly onion yeah so we are now ready to cook the meal make sure you don't go anywhere stay put and let's see how it's going to turn out Right now, we start by heating up the oil. Guys, I'm sure you'll be wondering why a house that has five children is so quiet. Okay, follow me. Let me show you what's up. Hey. Adi, are you walking? Let me see. Say hi. Hi. Hey. Sing, say hi. 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 Say hi. 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 Say hi. Hi. What are you guys doing? Removing it from a plant. From a plant. This is a plant. Yes. How is it a plant? Ogu. It's Ogu. called Ogu. Good girl. Because mm. doesn't know what it's called. It's Ogu plant. Yeah, baby. Okay. It's called Ogu. Say Ogu. Ogu. And, and, and cook food yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I'm, done with my own. I'm going to make lunch with it. Okay. Okay. I have to keep them busy to have a complete sanity in cooking this food. You know kids could be very disturbing at times, so it's either I make them work or I ask them to go and sleep. So right now we are already cooking and as you can see, I already added my sauce and sliced onion. And guys, from the video you will observe that all the vegetables I, I had cut, I am only adding half of it inside the pot because I am going to go twice. If I go once, it will not be able to contain this pot. So I am going twice. So I'm adding half of everything I had sliced. I already added the carrots and now I just added the fresh pepper. Green beans would have been the nest, but like I told you, we can't find it in Dakar right now. So now I just added the mixed spices and cubes. You know, there are these particular spice people love to add in their fried rice to get their, um, should I say yellowish or greenish 
color but me on my own side i prefer to use curry to get my desired color like i add enough of it and that's just what i use whenever i make my fried rice Right now, I just finished mixing all the veggies and like I told you guys, I did it twice because the pot cannot contain all of it. Now we are mixing the veggies and the rice and guys, it wasn't easy doing so for one bag of rice. So just stay tuned and make sure you watch till the end. And guys, please leave me in the comment section what you think about my cooking, the procedures. Is it different from your own or is it? Or do you have same procedures in making fried rice? Because to me, I feel fried rice has different procedures. It depends on how you want to cook your own or how you learnt or how you have said to, you know, it all depends on one's, um, should I say, cooking style. <laughs> Oh yes, our food is ready. And guys, funny enough, I gained little or nothing out of this contract. But like they say, good name is better than riches. You know, the thing is, this country has something they do annually. They call Magatuba. So they all went for it. And me hoping that the vendor of the chicken will not be around. I have to buy early enough so I wouldn't have any problem making this food. So at, at some point, because the weather is too hot, the, the chickens got spoiled and I had to pour everything away. I had to even go to the market to buy another one on Friday because I had to pay in advance and make sure the vendor was around. So that was what happened and I had to make another chicken for the occasion because I can't afford to take a spoiled meat to the occasion. Like they say, good name is better than riches. So that's the, that was what happened. I gained little or nothing but that is all good. I am very happy with myself that I, that I was able to do the right thing. So guys, cooking is over. Let's go to party. Party after party. Yes. Party after party. Oh, yes. <laughs> So guys, right now, the celebrants of the occasion are arriving. Like I told you, they are celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary, which is called the Silver Jubilee. And they are blessed with eight beautiful children, six hefty boys and two beautiful angels. And people also came in massive to rejoice with them because it was indeed a joyous occasion.
actually rained money that very day and guys you know we are in dakar senegal so i would say it rained safer that very day as in safer was just flying up and down men we are here supporting the celebrants because this occasion it's indeed a happy one it's a joyous one you know celebrate celebrating your 25th wedding anniversary which is called silver jubilee is a blessing to me it's grace you know people look forward to this day like me for example me and my husband we actually looked forward to this day and like i told you guys he said he was going to tell me why he loved me on our 25th anniversary but unfortunately he, he didn't live to see that Day. so them celebrating it is something i would say is a joyous occasion for you to see this day you know celebrating your silver jubilee gold jubilee diamond jubilee is indeed a huge blessing and if god gives you the opportunity of celebrating it be happy be grateful to god make sure you never take it for granted Oh yes guys don't forget to tell me in the comment section what you think about my outfit for the occasion i'll be waiting <laughs> I told you guys it was ruining safer that very day like safer was flying up and down yeah i am so happy for the couple and i am so happy that people came to support them in a very massive way Here we have the couple's brochure. As you can see, this is them during their wedding 25 years ago. And here we have their children from the first son, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth son. And their twin girls happen to be the last babies. I pray God's blessings never depart from this family in Jesus' name. Amen. So guys, I just got back but couldn't help to feel more of myself, my outfit, like I was just feeling fly. So I thank God everything ended well and successfully and I will say congrats to the couple once more. Hello guys. Wow, guys I'm back. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have watched up to this point, guys as you can see, after cooking all those meals and going for the party itself, you can tell that I am very very tired so I would love to end this vlog here. Thank you so much if you have watched up to this point. Thanks for your love and support. Thanks for always coming to watch my video. I appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Please guys, at the end of this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and please subscribe. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Every day, every day.